we wanted to give the subscribers and the audiences uh, a wide range of theatrical experiences. And so these five plays, we feel, kind of really give them a, a, a lot of variety. You won't come to the Westport Playhouse and see have the same experience each time you come to one of these shows. Hi, folks. We are so glad you're here. Um, you are some of our favorite people because we know you love the theater. Uh, we wanted to give you a little sneak peek, a little background on the season that you're about to see. Annie Keefe, our resident artist, did Noel Coward's song, A Twilight, during a script in hand reading. We all liked the play very much. And Hartford Stage wanted to do a co-production during their 50th anniversary season. So we felt it was a chance for a historic union between the Westport Playhouse and the Hartford Stage Company. Song of Twilight is a Noel Coward play unlike most of his plays. Um, this is not a frothy comedy. It's got a lot of laughs in it, but it's also, um, it's a serious play that is not done very often and is very topical. Debbie Weiner, who's the artistic director at the 92nd Street Y in New York, called me up a little over a year ago and said, listen, would you like to curate and be a part of um, an evening we're doing called uh, Brush Up Your Shakespeare, The Bard on Broadway? I said, oh, count me in, I'd love to do it. And she and I began to work on it. We brought in music director Wayne Barker, and um, it was a big success, and so, we're, we're reframing the whole thing for a premiere, a world premiere in Westport. And you see how all these different writers from this whole span of time uh, had, had interpreted and made Shakespeare contemporary for us and, and something that we could just take in on a cellular level. I think it's going to be a huge amount of fun. Nora is, is an adaptation by the filmmaker Ingmar Bergman of uh, Ibsen's A Dollhouse. And what it does is just pare the play down to kind of essentials. It's a shorter evening in the theater. It's a more intense experience. This classic play about a wife who finds uh, marriage uh, an untenable situation. Um, Bergman had an incredible affinity for the work of Henry Gibson. If you've seen Bergman's movies, you know that he's interested in the psyche of women and the social relationships between men and women. John Tillinger, who's made a career, really, of doing fantastic revivals and original productions of the plays of Alan Akeborn, is coming back to Westport Playhouse to direct Things We Do For Love, Akeborn's, I think, most amazing play. It's a guy whose who's oeuvre is enormous and who just keeps outpacing himself brilliantly as a writer. He always has a gimmick, um, and this play has a particular gimmick, which is three floors of the house. It's so rarely seen in the United States um, that it's almost going to be like a world premiere, so we're really excited about it. It's a blisteringly funny comedy. Intimate Apparel resonates on many, many levels. It's a very moving play. It's a very honest play. Its historical resonance is alarmingly present somehow. And we're doing a lot of initiatives around it that will sort of enhance your enjoyment of this beautiful play. Part of the reason, I think, is that it is just a, it's a, it's a brilliant moving story. It's a, it's a play that, like everything in this season, harkens back to a mission of the revitalized Playhouse. I think you'd enjoy coming to the Westport Playhouse because it's right in your backyard, it's right in your community, and it's, it's Broadway level work. It's New York actors, New York designers, New York directors. Um, when they're not working in New York, they're working here. And the level of excellence is uh, something we 
not only strive for, but achieve. And you just get to have five terrific experiences in the theater, uh, live theater, portrayed by some of the best artists around. Um, and it's right in your backyard. Thank you.